everybody. Today we're going to talk about muscles of the eye and their innervation. So as you can see, we have left eye over here. The eye has four rectus muscles, superior rectus muscle, inferior rectus muscle, medial rectus muscle, and lateral rectus muscle. Also, it has two oblique muscles, superior oblique muscle and inferior oblique muscle. It's pretty easy to understand how rectus muscles move the eye. So superior rectus muscle moves the eye upward, inferior downward, medial to the medial, and lateral to the lateral. It comes, becomes a little tricky when we talk about the movement of the oblique muscles. So superior oblique muscle over here would move the eye downward and to the lateral, and inferior oblique muscle over here would move the eye upward and to the medial. So now let's talk about innervation of these muscles. So the muscles are innervated by three different nerves, third, fourth, and sixth. Let's start with the third. Third cranial nerve is called oculomotor nerve. It innervates superior rectus muscle, inferior rectus muscle, medial rectus muscle, and inferior oblique muscle. Oculomotor nerve originates in the midbrain with its oculomotor nuclei over here. And it exits the um, it exits the skull through the superior orbital fissure, which spoiler alert, all of them do. And it innervates four muscles over here in the eye, as well as one muscle over here, which would be levateral palpebra superioris, which would um, elevate upper lid. Oculomotor nuclei over here would have only one motor function. But it's useful to remember that oculomotor nerve also carries parasympathetic valve fibers. Next nerve we're going to talk about is force, which is trochlear nerve. It originates as well as oculomotor nerve in the midbrain with the trochlear nucleus over here. It also has one motor function. Trochlear nerve exits the skull through superior orbital fissure and it innervates superior oblique muscle. The next nerve we're going to talk about is nervous abducens, which originates in the pons over here. And it has one motor nucleus, nucleus abducens. As well as everybody else, it exits the skull through superior orbital fissure and it innervates lateral rectus muscle. You can say it abducts the eye, moves the eye to the lateral. This is everything I want to tell about the innervation of the muscles of the eye, and goodbye everybody, have a great day.